I think it's time for some more quackery, and this time it's an extremely dubious water test unit. So this is something that uh, people who are selling water filters go around houses and they demonstrate how impure the water is by using this device to test it. And I have a sneaky feeling this isn't electrically safe at all. It comes from a, one of, a, an eBay seller in China. I'm not sure if I should give you a link to this because I pretty much know what's in it. And it's not good. So it comes with these uh, electrodes that screw on. They seem to be threaded differently. I'm guessing they're different alloys there. I'm guessing maybe. Are they... All right, this one may be aluminium and this one is steel based. Or it has a high ferrous content. Oh. So that's the electrodes on. And apparently you uh, plug this in, you place it in a glass of water and then you turn it on. And, uh, well, let's get the glasses of water. I've got a water filter, so I'm going to... Um, Check that out. I'm going to get a glass of water that's not been filtered and water that's been filtered, but we'll see what happens. Okay, are we ready for the scientific test? On the right, I have water that I've uh, run through a water filter. Under the left, it's just standard tap water. So uh, I'm going to tell you how much current this thing draws as well. So let's turn the switch on top on so I don't have to handle it while it's running. It's drawing about half an amp. And lots of bubbles. I see both discolouring at roughly the same speed. You can guess that this is probably based on this sort of uh, this foot thing. You know that. Remember that foot thing that uh, had the electrodes, and it basically created the effect of um, uh, making it look as though you were being detoxified. Yeah, these are. You know, the idea of this is that, and the ones I've seen online on YouTube is that you place it in the glass of water and one of them gets absolutely manky very quickly and the other one stays relatively clean, which kind of alludes to the fact they're probably using distilled water in the other glass uh, to actually make it stay clean. And the idea is that it shows you that, well, you can see how contaminated your water is because all this is in your water and that's why you should buy their water filters. Okay. That's a... Uh... I think that's enough. I think we get the gist of it and uh, we can now tell that my water filter is apparently completely ineffective according to their science. So uh, it's currently at 600 and it's just approaching 700 milliamps. And the power, <coughs> about 178 watts at the moment and rising. Presumably because it's making the water more conductive by putting yuck into it, and it really is putting yuck into it. That's, that's pretty disgusting. Yeah, it's all going all froth, frothy on top. Right, I'm going to terminate the exercise there and the experiment, uh, and then I'll come back and we'll open this thing and see what's actually in it. Yeah, so it's gone, it's got the desired effect. It's got all this flotsam on top, this sort of rusty look, and it... No, I'm not going to drink that. It smells metallic. So let's take a look at the unit itself. I'll get these electrodes off. Noting that the aluminium ones are on the big screw threads. I suppose really they could have just used steel for both. I'm not really sure why they used uh, different electrodes. I don't know if the aluminium ones are maybe even an alloy. An aluminium alloy. Ooh, what's this going to hold? What surprises? What electronic delights? Right. A bridge rectifier with the positive connected to the steel electrodes and the negative connected to the aluminium electrodes and
that's about it. Uh, the LED is connected in series with a resistor. Uh, the switch is, well, yeah, the switch breaks one of these, right? I'm going to doodle this down, it's not very safe, as you could probably guess. So basically speaking, what we've got here is the mains in, uh, through a switch, then there's a resistor, and an LED, and it's this uh, system where they're just uh, driving a red LED uh, directly off the mains via a 150k resistor, which isn't ideal, but it does. It's not used for a long time. This thing apparently, they're, it's got a fuse holder. Oh, I sh actually, I should have the. I'll draw the fuse down here. Then there we go. Then it goes through the full bridge rectifier, full wave bridge rectifier. AC in, plus out, minus out, and basically speaking, it's uh, one electrode is going straight into liquid and the other's going straight into liquid as well. But it's passing DC through them. And the positive electrode is the steel, and the other one is the aluminum, aluminium, because that's how we spell it and pronounce it here. Uh, yeah, so uh, basically speaking, you don't want to touch any of these electrodes, not even while this thing's not switched on because it's only breaking one of the leads. Uh, but you just don't want to touch the electrodes at all because as long as this thing's plugged in, there's a potential to get a fatal shock off the output of this. That's nice. Uh, what is the fuse rated at? This is where the fuse will have the, the value punched in in absolutely minute letters. 250 volt. 10 amps. Oh, that should that should do for heavily contaminated water. But yeah, uh, if you go on YouTube and you search for uh, water test, I think electrode water test might do it, um, and filter and other keywords like that, you'll find uh, people demonstrating these units completely oblivious to the fact that they're basically holding something in their hand that uh, is live, where they... Add, Goodness knows if they've actually handled the electrodes or not while it's on. But uh, th this is a bit of a... It's a bit of an oddity. And it just seems to be aimed at this quackery of selling water filters. But um, intriguing. But uh, if you've got one of these, just be aware that uh, it's... Uh, you know, when these metal rods are on and when it's plugged in, even if it's not turned on, you could get a significant shock off these metal electrodes that are just exposed to touch. Yes, interesting. But uh, yeah, definitely in the realm of uh, deadly quackery devices.